Because the other funny thing about this is that I never got to loot the Dragon Priest because they immediately forced you to go to the one spot and shout, and then you go into this eternal prison thing. I, I wish the mod kind of, like, gave us more time just to see stuff, to do stuff, because it feels like it's really kind of rushing us through some of this, and like I said, would have been nice uh, story-wise, too. Just if Horus and Giles even gave us more opportunities to talk to him early on, because otherwise, I don't know what's going on. I have no idea <laughs> what is going on during half of this. Yeah, the way that the sequencing for this works, I'm... I, I made a save right before the fight with Colesvil started, but I feel like I would need to almost save right as he dies. Um, before going into the prison and seeing if I can get that to work now. I will say that I do like that this boss fight already has mechanics. That's a good sign, because I do actually really like boss fights that make use of interesting, unique mechanics. It's fun. Like, hide behind the pillar, don't get hit by the blizzard. If anything, I would love if the Elder Scrolls VI had more boss fights that had some sort of mechanics to them. What I'll try to do is I'll see if I can save right before killing him, but right before... We go into the sequence. Yeah, so I'm gonna save right here. See if that helps at all. But I'm also gonna have my quick save and everything just to be safe. Can I loot him real quick? Okay, I can. Oh! New quest, crafting tokens. Alright. Interloper. We are ever so grateful that you've exchanged places with us. Yeah, don't mention it. Such as it is, this was our eternal dwelling. May it suit you well as your prison, unless you've the strength and spirit to escape. Yeah, still just kind of like sticks me on the ground, and obviously you can't really see it. You might be able to hear my keyboard while I do this, but I'm just trying to move around and everything, and I can't. Like, I, I think they're... I, I think you're supposed to be able to get up. I'm wondering if doing enabled player controls would fix it. It's hard to say. So, fingers crossed that this works? That this... Fixes it? Maybe, maybe not. I just installed an add-on mod. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go. Ooh, goody, goody, goody. All right, so what I did was I went and I found that someone had added a patch. Someone made a pretty comprehensive patch to try and fix some of the issues that hadn't been resolved by the original mod team. And... Uh, took a couple different downloads, because you have to download the patch, an English translation, uh, and some stuff. But one of the things it fixes is a couple instances in which you go prone, but never get up. I'm assuming these are timed, so that I have to hit all three at the same time? Yes, okay, and now... I can just <laughs> climb on out. Or, you know, possibly drown in the process. Boom. This is kind of trippy. Oh, another rune token. Okay. So if I hadn't gotten that first one, I... Oh, wait, rune token? Wait, hold on. Is that the same thing? Sorry, give me a second. Yeah, it's the same thing. Okay, so... The more you collect, the more I'd be able to craft, right? Compendium Reaver. I do like that we're also getting these kind of, uh... Guidebooks of sorts to warn us and prepare us for bosses. I had a nightmare yesterday, a very strange one at that. A monstrosity of metal and magicka appeared before my defenseless body. 
Everything around me was dark, I could barely see my own hands in front of me. Nothing but the eerie glow of the demon was in full display. The creature would hurl balls of fire at me no matter where I stood and though he could not detect me, if I were quiet from afar, catching it by surprise was impossible. Was it a nightmare? Perhaps not. No, this was a nightmare, I am convinced, for no matter how much I chased, I felt eternally doomed to the charade. That doesn't really feel too helpful. That doesn't make me feel like I am ready to face this boss, whatever it is. So we have the obelisk here. I don't know if I want to go there yet. I don't know if I want to go anywhere just yet. Oh, what? Where am I? Are we getting into some weird, like, spaceship stuff now? Oh, I have many, many questions. Well, there's nowhere else to go but through the very <laughs> ominous and kind of cool door. I was wondering how it opened. It's just split down the middle. Ooh. This is... It's a really interesting design for a ship. It feels, like, weirdly natural and alive. Do I want to work my way down this way? Do I want to go through the other side? I don't know if either way is really... better or safer, mind you. What I can do is I can just become ethereal. I'm and drop on down. Maybe I didn't want to do that. The reason I said that is because as I looked, I did realize there were other kind of like levels. Uh-oh. 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 Hello? Hello. Are you the Reaper? The Reaper. Yeah. Yep. Yes, you are. That does actually hurt a little bit. Oh. Yeah. Hi, Void Wraith. I'm just gonna quickly deal with you. Ye ooh, all right. Yeah, difficulty is... Ooh, all right, yep. Oh, and that's right. Oh, and I had the quick save down here. Oh, God, all right. <laughs> this is gonna be bad for me. This is gonna be quite bad for me. I hadn't even thought about that. I already forgot about the, uh, the autosave. Oh, that's locked. Oh, that's not good. Are the Void Wraiths just going to, like, keep respawning here? Because that could be an issue. Yeah, there's a little bit of splash damage on his spells, and like I said, they do really, really hurt. Yeah, they just keep respawning here. So I can, like, damage the Reaver from afar. Once again, thank you, the power of slow time. Does he have another immunity phase? Because right now, okay, no, he, he is still getting hit. And you're probably thinking, this is a very anticlimactic way to fight some of these bosses. Well, they hurt. They hurt a lot. Yeah. And I'm just gonna be playing some, <laughs> some dodgeball with him in the meantime. Because he doesn't yeah. actually have too much health. Like, his health really isn't the problem or the concern. The model for it, though, is really, really cool. Like, the new model and everything looks really, really interesting. It does feel very kind of like old-school fantasy game. It feels not necessarily super Elder Scrolls-ish, but still looks really cool. Yeah, just sidestepping him a little bit, but like I said, it is not his health that's the problem. It's my health. That's the problem. Hey, don't flee. Don't you go anywhere. I was hoping you guys would drop dead with him. <laughs> I was really hoping you would. Now, the interesting thing is what is 
that the compendium did say that the reaver, that, you know, it was like pitch black, you couldn't see your hands. I could see perfectly fine. I could see just fine. It was uh, his abilities, his powers that were creating a little bit more of an issue for me. Now we got the other autosave. I am grateful for that. The door did unlock. Okay, good. Can I loot? No, he just disappeared, didn't he? I was wondering if that was a door. Don't know why I thought it would be. I'm just... <laughs> I'm curious. Can I fall through the world? <gasps> oh, yes, I can! What did that do? Um... Uh-oh. Did I break something? The screen's just black now, and I can't do anything. I do not think I was supposed to do that. I think I broke something. I cannot use escape. I cannot use console commands. I absolutely broke it. It is a good thing I quick saved. It's a good thing we have the autosave. Uh, I think I need to relaunch the game. Jumping down there actually did crash my game, so <laughs> don't do that. Don't be like me. Do as I say, not as I do. I wonder if there's going to be a compendium before each boss fight, because that would be interesting. I do see him up there. I see another shadow up there. And I also see another compendium. Speak of the devil. Zorakan is a decaying phantom, perpetually falling into the abyss just as much as the legend that foretells of his power, much of which is lost to time already. Yet his power is still as real as it was before his turning. In fact, he is far more powerful now, although the details remain unknown. Nevertheless, I've deemed that his twin blades had been corrupted just as much as his former self. Now, when he strikes every living soul that his sword can see is pulled towards destruction. His former self could spit acid, yet now he spits cold fire, whose burst of magic summons a vile entity from the darkness. He may also cut open the sky for a brief moment to allow the world of ruin to rain destruction below. I could only cower and run from these attacks, for what struck me greatest with fear was not his awesome power but the fact that he was merely toying with me, as I felt that this was a fraction of what he could do. You know, I kind of understand why Asher wanted to get out of here. I do understand why Asher wanted out of this prison. This place kind of sucks. This place is kind of scary. How long do I have to wait for another Dragonborn to show up so they can release me? Because, um... Listen, I know they say I'm the last Dragonborn. Let's hope that that is not literal right now. Because I certainly do not wish to be stuck in here forevermore. Like I said, the main thing right now is I would love more answers. Because I really didn't get them from... From Giles, I didn't get them from Horus. And I'm now starting to get the feeling that, you know, they betrayed me. Which I guess could also be one of the reasons why they just didn't necessarily tell me too, too much. Why they were just very quick to be like, oh, yes, go this way and use your shout and open the door. And oh, no, would you look at that? You somehow got betrayed. How could that have happened? One thing is the mod page, like the mod description said that mods that add new armor categories can cause issues, but what do they mean by categories? Because if they mean new armors... Uh-oh. Oh, oh no. Oh no, not you! To our collection. Oh, I was in the middle of my monologue. Oh jeez. You face me with apprehension. You've already assumed you are going to move forward. Well, the door's right there. The truth is that you've made it this far by my good graces. 
We have allowed you to undertake this trial. I like the animation. We have opened the gates to your destiny. But... We are not convinced you are worthy. Fair. Most like you lack determination. If you are to be our puppet, we need you to be worthwhile. Uh-oh. Many others have come before you, unable to best our pawns, let alone decipher our mysteries. Oh no. Oh, those are his swords! Chances are, you are no better than the rest. Just another useless excuse for a soul. Let's find out. Slow time. Ooh, another autosave. I will say I am appreciating that. <laughs> I'm just... Oh, oh, he just snapped out of the animation. Oh, yep, and his little void thing does already hurt quite a bit. Um, yeah, he's raining down from the heavens. Ooh, okay. This seems like a bad time for me. This seems like a really, really, really bad time for me. Oh, yep, just... I may have to bump down the difficulty because I feel like damage-wise this is gonna be ridiculous. This is definitely meant for more endgame level players, for sure. Endgame level builds, almost. And it's always this weird thing of it's so hard to really judge because everyone has a different idea of what that means. Mod authors and players have very drastically different ideas of what that means, and the problem is ultimately that... In modding, it doesn't always match, like, the difficulty curve that you see in the regular game. So, it seems you are worthy. Why, thank you. I foresee a pathway where you give us the whole world, Interloper. Eh. I will give you the opportunity to seek it out. I'm not here to give you anything. Alas. It seems I have overstayed my welcome. Nonetheless, I will speak your first command. Turn and leave. Like back that way? With my last breath, I open a portal to your world. Oh, thank you. That's helpful, because I didn't really want to be stuck in here for much longer. But... I'm, I'm just wondering what the mod meant by new armor categories, because right now I am wearing Creation Club armors. Do you seek to interrupt our calling as before? If you'd like to preserve yourself, you ought to forget this vain pursuit. Our propensity is to return this world into darkness. It is not yours to save. Stay out of our way. Is Asher just gonna have, like, taken over the entire valley? That's what I'm kind of worried about now. So you have chosen to challenge our claim to this world. The future is bleak, interloper. Uh-oh. You were not kidding. This is pretty bleak. Oh, I don't have the item required. Ugh, now I'm in goop world. Population me. I'm so glad I have quick light on. <laughs> the problem is, I don't know how much it's gonna help me here. I can only wonder how pitch black it would be right now if I didn't have quick light, or if you didn't have torches or anything like that. And that's one of those things where I could see that being something that players don't necessarily think to bring with them. Torches and light sources and whatnot before starting on this adventure and possibly being stuck in here. Uh, uh, oh, this is still different from before. Tried everything. It's been days and she still does not wake. I'm not going to give up on her. Thamina has cursed her because she is afraid. I'm not going to hand her over so easily. Her fate is with the gods now. 
None but the Divine can defy a Daedric Prince. No. We merely need one's blessing. Are, are you looking at me? Don't, don't look at me. I'm still uh, not entirely sure what's going on here. I've had recurring dreams of the stars under the Chimera constellation, but I can only see portions of it before waking up. The stars are colored, and no two connected stars have the same color. The constellation connections are drawn in the sky, as though to make me see what is not present. These are things we make up in our minds and project them onto the hosts above us. Yet I'm drawn to them in curiosity. When I trace the stars, I wake up somewhere else. Oh, oh, I have to activate each individual star. And I assume I need each star to be a different color then? That would be my best guess. How many colors are there going to be to sort between? I wonder if white counts as a color, because white's kind of like the default. Yeah, turning off my light, turning off quick light actually does make this a little easier, I will say. Because no two connected stars have the same color. Also, white does not count as a color because uh, I can't circle back to it. No two connected stars can have the same color, but when they say connected, I wonder if that means directly touching. Right? There we go. Yep. Maybe? No? No, I don't think that worked. I think it just reset the puzzle for me. Yeah, because if it had worked, if it was working, then I would have woken up uh, somewhere else. Got it. Uh huh? Out of my way, Barry. Hey, there this we go. The oh, this is this, this is the solution. Just take a look. It is Screenshot it if you need she is to. Your sister, that I should protect you from yourself. Screenshot it if you have Ooh. to. It is because she possesses a gift. The very reason why Verbena has damned her to eternal nightmare. Don't you understand her gift? Her power could mean the end of nightmares. And you're going to fix this how exactly? By slaughtering the townsfolk and making a pact with a different Daedric Prince? The sacrifice must be made. You leave me no choice. Oh, there you go. I cannot believe I once called you friend. Well, Ash becomes Asher. That I'm getting you from this right be now. so foolish. You are damning her. Do you realize that? Well, do you? You don't really care, do you? And here I was thinking I was going to get back to Skyrim. I have made tribute to you, Molad Ball. I demand your presence. What is Oh, this? it's the dragon. The agents of Cold Harbor. It's the creepy dragon. I <laughs> I am nothing. Is this not the shrine? You are not in your reality. On the contrary, you have called unto us. We answered to the last breath, leaving your dying body. Your little speeches too, huh? Okay, so I cr can't grab the, the pearls, or at least... Meridia's beacon, but they're being called... And pearls to activate some of this stuff. Oh, okay. This is a little bigger of an area than I thought it was gonna be. It's so cool and so trippy, Mage Light, and a lesser soul gem, 
If that doesn't mean that they want me to use a light at some point here, then I don't know how much more clear they could make it, possibly. I love the amount of coral and stuff. It's so interesting, and it really makes me wonder if we're going to deal with some sort of, like, slowed stuff or anything kind of along those lines. A captured soul... Contra familiar. This could also just be completely unrelated. This could very well just be that they're just giving me loot and I don't need it for a puzzle. So far the puzzles have been pretty interesting. Nothing's been really hard. Which I would also not consider that a bad thing either. I, I know there's the giant dragon skull in the middle. I'm just Look it around real quick. Giant, glowing, ominous dragon skull. Do you want me to walk inside your mouth? No, you don't. School of Frenzy. Conjure. Familiar. Okay. Mage Light. Oh, here we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Or, or not. Unless Arniel's just doesn't work because it has to be a general spell? Okay, yeah. Arniel's doesn't work because it only works specifically with, you know, the Convectors. Mage Light. There you go. Conjuration. I will just use... Soul Trap on you. And this should be Restoration? Yes. So let's do... Heal Other. And then that should just leave us with Illusion. Right? Uh oh. Ooh. <gasps> Staff of Corruption? Oh! Avoid Wraith. Okay, I thought it was gonna form a Staff of Corruption. Oh. Uh. Hmm. I'm gonna try and hit a little orb in the center. Oh, that's not really hurting it. Let me take out the Void Wraiths real quick because I. Oh, I wonder if I missed a compendium yeah. on how to fight him. That is my immediate thought because uh, he isn't taking damage. Where did he go? Did he just leave? I, I think he just vamoose. I think he's gone. No, I, I think he's still around because I think I'm still getting attacked by him. Because my very first thought was that the kind of orb in his center would be... Where, where? Where are you? There you are. There you are. Okay. Because my very first thought was that the orb in his middle would be the weak spot, but I don't think so. Maybe the mirrors? Although hitting those would be really tricky. Yeah. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. What is that right yeah. there? Okay, I'm just gonna heal up. I'm just on adept difficulty for the, uh... <laughs> for the record, and man, oh man. Uh, I'm sure I could be wearing better armor and all that, but, oh. These enemies hurt. These enemies really, really hurt. I know I just missed. That hit him. Yeah, I'm guessing I need to find yeah. other runes. And that'll be yeah. Yeah. how I stop him. Is that the way out? I think this is my way out. Oh, I gotta find the way out. Keep your eyes peeled. Look for for the runes. 
Just as I get shot at from afar. Okay, we got another rune. I'm just operating under the assumption that there's going to be three of them, because that's just, you know, your standard video game-ish number of... Things often operate in threes or fives, sometimes fours. But I, I like the number three right now. There we go, and an autosave, which I'm going to take that as a clue to run. And yes, it is open. One thing I do like is the use of autosaves to denote checkpoints. Very helpful, although maybe place them a little bit before the boss battles start, just to give people a little bit more breathing room. Hello there. You shall become another vessel to possess. But you are different. What is the meaning of this? Where am I? This is the temple where you shall realize your fate. I got to get out of here. Send me back! You misunderstand. You are doomed. You are no more. You are empty. But I shall complete you. No, that can't be possible. I, I, I was so close. So close to saving her. The whole world turned on us. What have they done? Your attempts are hopeless. You are doomed. Unless you permit to salvage you. What must I do? Patience. You shall learn the way of my power, and we shall carry out our work together. What's happening? Enough of this! Accept your fate, mortal. You know what? I'm starting to get Asher. I'd want to get out of here, too. I would be pretty quick to want to get out of here, too. Oh. Stendhal's mercy! Are you all right? Can you speak? Here, I untied you. See if you can walk. Wait, why did you tie me up? I'm Emma. I... well, I found you here. You must be the Dragonborn. I heard you pillaged a bandit outpost. I... <laughs> here, let me untie you. I'm Emma. Hi, Emma. Why was I tied up? What did you do to me? My head. Who are you again? I'm a mage. Stendar. He speaks to me. He urged me to find you. You and your friend. Friend? I'm sorry. He didn't make it. Giles? Wait, g give me a moment to wake up. What exactly happened here? Listen, lady, I have no clue. We were attacked, I don't know, I was dreaming. Strange. Yeah, tell me about it. What do you mean... Oh, your mouth is moving. What do you mean, strange? What strange magic could this be? I've been having an urge to find someone. A necromancer, perhaps. It's as if Stendar wants me to stop him. I saw an aura of darkness cloaked in a robe. And a mask. That's the last I can recall. That must be him. We have to stop him. I don't know why, but it's as if I feel there's impending doom upon us. Get yourself together. I feel that way every day. <laughs> it doesn't mean there's a necromancer about. Can we get out of here? I can explain later. Good. Follow me. Alright. That was cool, though. The, uh... Uh, the what's it called? The loading screen had the first mention of... What was it? The Unworld? That's the first time we've had a name or any sort of, like, real reference to, you know, where we are, where we've been going, and all that. Oh! Wait, is he just still down there? I don't... 
know if he's supposed to be down there still. Hold on, I'm saving, I'm gonna drop down there, the reason being that I know I can't get back up if I do drop down, but... Am I gonna break something by coming down here? <laughs> I might. Hey. Yep, you're not talking. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. 